Hello, this is Katie again, and I wanted to show you, I had a couple requests to make a video on this. Um, I saw a card that somebody made and they made a cloud background with the cloud stencil from My Favorite Things, the smaller one. Um, they used this one. It's the mini cloud edges. Um, I also bought the bigger one, so I'm gonna be using that one today um, but I just fell in love with how it looked and I've been wanting cloud stencils for a while so I just wanted to show how I did it um, I probably I think I've watched a couple tutorials and I think I do at least maybe one thing different so I thought I'd throw this one in the mix um, I made this the other day I trimmed it down to a card size so I'm gonna do the same colors today uh, the card that I saw was like pink and orange combo sky and that looked really cool so you can do this with really any two colors um so i'm going to do the same thing i did here i have two uh distress oxide inks with my little blenders i have mermaid lagoon and tumbled glass so i will be using those back and forth and then uh i will just show you what i did it's pretty easy. This is uh, just Paper Tray Ink uh, Stamper Select white cardstock. I'm just going to start kind of near the bottom. I'll make sure I'm in view here. Um, I did get my fingers all blue last time, so I'm going to try and hold down. Uh, as you turn this, this gets very inky, so I'm going to try and uh, hold it with like a post-it so I'm not touching all the ink. Um, so... We'll just line up one of the edges. I'll move my inks to the right. It'll be a little bit easier. Get some tumbled glass on there. And then you just want to make sure you hold your stencil down so it doesn't move. Um, and then you can just blend. Of course, that's the first thing it does. So I'll put it back. Okay, then I will just turn it. You can pick kind of whichever one works. Um, it might have little gaps, but I'm gonna show you what I do for that. So you can take, you know, just look at the edges and figure out which one is gonna work better for you. And now I have the Mermaid Lagoon on. And you can just do fairly light brushing. You don't have to go so hard. I think that's what moved my uh, stencil last time as well. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. Then I will pick another edge and grab my tumbled glass again, the lighter blue. And just do a quick blend there. I'm getting blue on me. And then we will turn that and now back to Mermaid Lagoon. I'm just using the two blues for this. You can use more colors if you'd like. And then back to Tumbled Glass. We'll just take another edge, line that up. And then Another edge above that with Mermaid Lagoon. And we'll do this one. Tumble glass back to the lighter blue. I'm just gonna hold this in the center so I don't get inky. And your stencil shouldn't move as long as you're holding it down. Pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so I will do one more with Mermaid Lagoon. Okay, so then, set this over here. So then what I did was I took the, <clears throat> took a uh, tumble glass, the lighter blue that I have here on my inker and just kind of go over the whole thing to soften all of it and also to fill in 
the white area so I get more coverage if I want to cut it out for like a card front, for example. And just kind of find your darker edges and blend those out. And there is that. And then I will just probably use alcohol swabs to wipe that off when I'm done. So then, just so you can see, I'm going to trim it down to um, card base size. So I'll trim to the best edge I can find there. And then trim off the top. And then I'll trim it to four and a quarter. And then to five and a half. And we'll trim off the bottom white portion that I didn't blend. And there you go. And now you have some clouds for a card base. So uh, there you go. And this is my first one. This is the second one. And you can do it with any colors you want. The soft, I mean, colors that end up in the sky. So there are plenty of those, as you've probably seen. Um, orange, pink, purple, any mix of those. Uh, and then over on Instagram, um, I'll link my Instagram down below. Tag me if you um, have these and you try this technique. Um, I got mine from, if you're in the U.S., uh, Doodlebugs Wa, which is for Washington, um, doodlebugswa.com, W-A. Uh, they have always free shipping over $20, so that's why I grabbed this and this, and then I had the, um, the Lawn Fawn Mother's Day, <clears throat> the word line dye. Uh, so I love that they have free shipping. They happen to be in my state, so it is a lot quicker. Uh, but they have free shipping over 20 bucks all the time. And they have these stencils. Uh, they did when I bought them a couple days ago. So if you don't have them, that's a good place to get them. Uh, but yeah, let me know or tag me on Instagram if you make any of these. And thank you for watching. Bye.